Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, the round two of Falcon and Red Guardian Arena is over. Uh, I had both of the champions, and so I did not go for either of them. Uh, I went for the 5,000 uh, five-star shards, as usual. So, we're going to find out whether we got them. We should have gotten them. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see who we might recognize, who didn't have Falcon as a five star, so <clears throat> or as a four star for that matter. So let's take a look here. Uh, completed arenas, move over there, and yep, we got the 5,000 five star shards. Uh, and we just went for milestones in the other arenas. Okay. So we're gonna skip the three star. We're gonna start here with the four star basic, which was Red Guardian. As you can see, I just put up uh, enough for the milestones. So let's try to pay a little bit of attention and see if we can recognize any names. And as always, apologies in advance if I see your name and did not recognize it, especially if your name is not the same as it is on YouTube. Uh, I'm bad with names at the best of times, and trying to remember two different names is a little challenging for me, shall we say. All right, uh, don't see anyone. Now, Red Guardian, as I mentioned before in a previous video, uh, is a good pickup. Uh, I believe he needs to be awakened, and I'm told Max Sig. So we'll see. Uh, I'll probably take a look at him uh, sometime in the future. I don't know when, uh, but I did pull the five-star version of him. Uh, but I'll probably do a video on him uh, if I take him to rank five. Uh, but we'll see. We've got uh, Cyber Weekend coming with some spicy offers. Don't know what they are yet, but we know they're going to be spicy because they always are. Uh, and for the first time, I am in a position to double dip. Now, I don't buy offers, so the offers that they will give us for units are generally much worse than the ones they offer for money. Um, that's just the way it is, um, and it needs to be if this game is going to survive. Uh, but what uh, I'm hoping to be able to do, I'm Cavalier right now. So whatever the offers for Cavalier um, are for units, I'll take a look at those. And by all accounts, I should then be able to become Thronebreaker and get the Thronebreaker offers as well. Uh, so that's just going to depend. I'm going to take a look at them uh, tomorrow, do some calculations. You know, what do I want from the Cavalier offers? How much will that cost me? And uh, then I'll take a look at the uh, Thronebreaker offers. And it might be that I don't double dip a whole lot. I might just get one and two, uh, you know, the first and the second tier uh, offers uh, for Cavalier. And then get all the offers for Thronebreaker. We'll see. But I don't have that many uh, units. Um, but I will be opening up my uh, battle chips. You see I got 7.2 million. I'll be opening those up. All right. Uh, did I go back into the same one? Let me take a look. Make sure. Yeah, I think I went into the same one. Let's go into this one here. Okay, that looks better. All right. So milestones again for the uh, four star featured. Uh, I was doing that and I wasn't really paying attention and I started seeing the exact same names as I saw before. So, uh, kind of clued me in there. But I might see people that I uh, recognize on this one, maybe. Uh, Falcon is actually a good champion now. He's actually a pretty good champion. Uh, he counters Korg, Electro, you know, pretty much uh, anyone that has some sort of uh, damage back as part of their abilities, 
he can counter them now. So um, definitely has his place. And I think a lot of people that didn't have him picked him up. If I didn't already have him and have him awakened, uh, I would have been uh, going for him as well. All right. Let's see. I don't see anyone uh, that I'm recognizing. And apologies if I missed your name, uh, especially in the last one. My eyes started glazing over and I was not looking really at names. I was, or I should say I was looking at them, but I wasn't really seeing them. It happens, and especially right now, it's kind of late at night uh, for me. And I'm trying to get this video out before I go to bed. So, kind of tired. Sleepy from eating Thanksgiving dinner. So I feel all stuffed and ready to sleep. But here I am making this video for you guys. For you! All right, uh, let's see. Getting to the end here. And that's it. So for the final one, let's take a look at the five star featured. Uh, 22 million is pretty much what I put up every single time. So far, that has gotten me the 5,000 shards every single time. Now, if that should change, you know, more people start putting up 22 million, then I'll start putting up more. All right, let's try and go a little slow. Coat hanger, congratulations. Number 11, let me see, did I miss anybody? You know, I, I recognize a lot of these names, but I don't know them personally. That's the only reason I don't give them shout outs. Uh, I don't think they even watch these videos. All right, Woo. Darkwing Duck. Like the name, man. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Uh, ben Riley, congratulations. Ace Noop, congratulations. All right. I know, enjoy your Falcon. All right, Let's see if there's anybody else. Ooh, somebody likes to smoke. The Integral, congratulations, man. Oh, yeah. A lot of folks either didn't have him or want him awakened, um, but he's definitely a good pickup. So congrats to everybody that uh, picked up this champion. Definitely a, a decent one. Not sure if I'm going to rank him up past three, but he is ranked three right now. Um, I just have a lot of other champions that uh, I want to rank up before I rank uh, him up. And I have to sit down and think, where would I use him? As much as he is useful, I have other options. So, you know, for Korg, I've got Omega Red and Havoc. For Electro, same. So, just depends on uh, need. If you're planning on uh, using him for you know, one of those counters, then he's worth ranking up. If you have another counter, not so much. But I still might do it uh, in the future. All right, getting down. It's so funny now. Uh, this all used to be um, folks that came close but missed because only the top 150 at that time uh, got the champion, but since they've changed it to the top 300, um, a lot more people have been getting this champion, uh, 150 more to be precise, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, and uh, look for uh, my video. I'm going to make a video on the offers. Uh, once I know them, go through them, um, talk a little bit about them. And I'll also have a video where I open up my battle chips because I'll need more units, uh, perhaps to get all the offers that I want if I plan to double dip. Uh, the amount of units that I have up there is enough to get every offer um, for Cavalier 
if they keep to the same structure that they did previously. Previously, 21,000 would get you everything. And if you didn't choose uh, the more expensive of the bonus options, then 18,000 would have gotten you everything. So if I plan a double dip, then I may need more than that. So we just have to see what they do um, and how they work those throne breaker offers. But that's going to do it. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.